Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into another powerful application of remote sensing, mapping water bodies. We'll be using the Google Earth Engine to calculate an index specifically designed for this purpose, called the Automated Water Extraction Index, or AWEI. AWI is particularly useful because it leverages multiple spectral bands to enhance the contrast between water and non-water features, even in complex environments. It's especially good at suppressing noise from urban areas and shadows. Let's get started with our Google Earth Engine script. First, we need to define our area of interest, or AOI. For this tutorial, I've already uploaded a shapefile representing the area. We'll load it as an e.feature collection. And we'll center our map on this AOI with a zoom level of 8, so we can clearly see our stuff. Next, we'll load our satellite imagery. We'll be using Sentinel-2 surface reflectance data, which is readily available in Earth Engine's data catalog. We'll apply a few crucial filters here. Filter bounds, ALI this ensures we only get images that intersect our defined AOI. Filter date, January 1st, 2022, December 31st, 2022, we're looking for images from the year 2022. You can adjust this to your specific needs. Filter, e. Filter.lt, cloudy underscore pixel underscore percentage, 10. This is super important. We're filtering out images with more than 10% cloud cover to get clear views. Dot median, finally. We'll take the median of all the remaining images. This helps to reduce noise and fill in any gaps, giving us a clear, composite image for our analysis. Now, for the AWI calculation, we need specific spectral bands from our Sentinel-2 imagery. AWI relies on the green, near-infrared, NR, and two shortwave infrared, SWIR, bands. In Sentinel-2, these correspond to Green is band 3, B3. NR is band 8, B8. SWR1 is band 11, B11. SWR2 is band 12, B12. We'll select each of these bands individually and store them in separate variables. With our band selected, we can now compute the AWEI using its specific formula. The formula is AWEI equals 4 plus green SWR2 multiply 0 0.25 plus NIR plus 2.75 multiply SWR1. We start with green dot subtract, score 2. Then, we multiply that result by the sum of near, so we're 1 dot multiply, 2.75, and 0 0.25. Finally, we add 4 to the entire expression. And we'll rename the output band to AWI for clarity. Our AWI image is now calculated. But to see it on the map, we need to define some visualization parameters. AWI values typically range around negative to positive values, with water generally having higher AWI values. We'll set a minute value of minus 1 and a max value of 1. For our color palette, we'll use white for lower AWI values and blue for higher AWI values 
as these typically represent water. Finally, we'll clip our AWI image to our AOI to only display results within our study area, and then add it to the map using map.add layer, giving it the label AWI. Finally, let's hit run and see the results. As you can see, the water bodies within our ALI are clearly highlighted in blue, while the land features appear in white or lighter shades. This visually confirms the effectiveness of the AWI in distinguishing water from land. You can experiment with different min and max values in the visprums to adjust the contrast and see how it affects the visualization. So there you have it, a comprehensive guide to calculating and visualizing the automated water extraction index in Google Earth Engine. This technique is incredibly valuable for various applications, from monitoring water resources to flood mapping and environmental studies. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more geospatial tutorials. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or what other GE topics you'd like me to cover.